So come into your seated position. And because we're creatures of habit, switch your legs around, because otherwise we forget. Get your sitting bones evenly connected and just stack your shoulders over your hips and crown to the ceiling. Ribs in and up, get the core active but not clenched. We wanna be able to breathe still. So draw that air and energy into your lungs. Letting the belly expand and as you exhale, toxins out, tension out, and just begin that inner focus for your yoga perspective. And as you breathe, just remember personal practice, do what's right for your body this morning. And we're gonna begin just circling around the hips. So bring your ribs forward and to the side and back. And just allow that lower back to get a little bit of circulation going, rotating ribs forward to the side and back. And just going around in that circle. Spine's still pretty much straight. So we're not really rounding forward or arching back. We're just moving through the rib section seeing how that works. And then pause and reverse your circles going the opposite direction. So again, keep the ribs, the bottom ribs as your focus right there at the lowest part of the structure. And forward to the side, back, all the way around. Don't forget to breathe. And then again, just pausing, come back straight upright and relax your shoulders. And we'll do our usual forward bend, backward bend. So ribs back and rounding forward. And then inhaling chest and ribs forward, rounding up, looking toward the ceiling, shoulders, shoulder blades down. So forward bend, exhaling, emptying the lungs. Inhaling, expanding through the heart as you look up into the back bend. Just a couple more times, getting that spine really working. And then back again to the center. One hand down, the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling and over your shoulder. Slide to the side for our side warm up. So ribs expanding, stretch through that whole side from your hip down to your head and fingertips out. You can bend your elbow for that extra stretch if you like it. And then inhale back upright and exhale the arm down. Switch your legs around and we'll do the other side. So hand to the floor, opposite arm out, palm toward the ceiling over your shoulder, stretch it up and slide to that other side. Go as far as you want, you can keep sliding out or you can bend your elbow coming down. Kind of keep the head in line with the rest of the spine, stretching the fingertips and the top of your head away from that sitting bone that's sinking down on the opposite side. So maximize only as much as you need this morning and then inhaling, come back. And again, just take a moment to feel the sides as well as the spine getting warmer. And take one hand to your opposite knee, other arm out for our twist, stretch up, exhale it into that twist position. Hand to the floor close to your body on the mat, stretch from your sitting bones all the way up, spine open for the twist, and then exhale and deepen the twist. So you can breathe and relax and deepen a little, or if you like a lot, you can bring that hand on your knee a little bit into the knee for a little leverage into that twist. But keep lengthening up all the time for the twist. And then bring your hand back up, follow it around to the center. Feel your spine as you switch your legs one more time for the opposite twist. Hand to the knee. Other arm out, sitting bones down, crown high, stretch it apart, and twist. 
Bring that hand behind you down, close to your body, stretch up from the sitting bones all the way to the top, and exhale and twist. So with each breath, you can deepen or you can just be gentle if that's enough this morning. Exhale and release tension. And then bring the hand behind you up and again, follow it back around to the center and release. Take a moment again, just noticing how your body is feeling as you stimulate that spine. We're gonna go starting up in table position. So knees under the hips, wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up, up onto your fingertips, sinking down into the full bottom of your hand. And ribs up, support that lower back. And chest slightly down so you're not hunching that upper back up. And just take a moment there, feeling your body kind of Activate those core positions. And then just a little cat. So drop your ribs down, solar plexus as your focus, coming into a back bend. So sway back position, ribs, shoulder blades down, sitting bones, and crown high, looking forward. And then exhaling, sitting bones down, solar plexus, ribs up, chin tucked, top of the head down. Real good forward bend, just warming that spine a little bit more. And then inhale and come back to neutral. Sit back on your heels, bring your legs out in front, all the way to the end of the mat. And we're going to roll onto our backs just slowly, core working to support you as you come all the way onto your back. So just relax through the lower back sacrum area. You can have your hands, palms up or down next to you. We're gonna press the low back down and bend your knees. Bring those heels in near your hips and then slide the sitting bones slightly toward your heels. So that spine connects a little bit more, contracting through that midsection. And then we're just gonna gently warm up this lower back because we're gonna be using a bit this morning. So solar, solar plexus, ribs up, shoulders and shoulder blades down, and sitting bones kind of roll down toward the floor so you get space under your lower back. And then the ribs come down, the sitting bones go out and up, and the whole midsection of your body contracts down toward the mat. So as fast or slow as you like, just warming up. So arching up, back bend, exhaling down, forward bend, a little abdominal contraction. And just a lot or a little, this is a back strengthener as well as a toning for your abdominals. So just do what's right for your body, a little bit or a lot, it's your choice just getting that whole lower back area a little bit stronger because we are going to work it a little bit more this morning. And then relax, coming back to neutral, extend your legs out. You can keep your arms at your side or overhead. We're gonna roll over onto our stomachs. So just come into rest for your starting position hip bones evenly distributed down, feet about hip width apart. Exhale, turn your head to the other side so your neck gets evenly worked as we're in our relaxing position. And then bring your forehead to the floor and just relax through your lower body and bring your arms out along the floor overhead. Arms right in front of your shoulders, wrists right in front of your shoulders, and feet right in front away from your hip. And then stretch out your right leg and bring it up off the floor, keeping your hip bones down. Stretch it out. And then the opposite left arm comes up, palm toward the floor, and again, stretch it out. So you get a good stretch across sideways through your body. Lateral movement. Exhale it down, 
and then stretch the left leg out, lift it all the way. And then bringing your arms back out in front, pivot up, hands to the sides of the mat, and roll down. So drop your hips and roll your whole body down. And again, back to rest and pop it up. So take a moment to situate everything comfortably on the mat. Exhale the head to the opposite side for even neck work and relax. And this time we're going to bring the forehead to the floor and cross your arms across your lower back. So this is an unsupported version of Cobra. Feet are hip width apart, lower body does nothing but sink down into your mat. As you inhale, rotate your face to the front, crown toward the ceiling. Tuck your chin back toward your chest a little bit so your neck doesn't crunch. And then chest forward and up only as high as your body wants to go, letting those arms support your lower back slightly so you don't overwork the lower back. Chest forward and up, crown toward the ceiling. Remember, if you ever think that's more than enough, you can exhale back down. Otherwise, we're going to think about the shoulder blades going towards the waist, the heart going forward and maybe up a little more, crown toward the ceiling. Take a breath and slowly exhale and return your head to the mat. Release your arms. Take a moment to feel your spine. And keeping your forehead on the floor, bring your hands next to your face and see this eye level. Elbows in towards your side. So maybe it feels a little bit like the shoulders are scrunching a little bit. Just think about the shoulder blades still towards the waist. And then again, the feet stay where they are, hips stay where they are, lower body just sinking. And we're going to inhale, face forward, crown the ceiling. Keep the hands where they are planted. Kind of pull the elbows back and in towards your body as you lift your heart forward and up, crown toward the ceiling, coming into Sphinx. So chest forward and up, only as high as you want to go. The higher you go, the more your lower back will feel it. And the lower you stay, the less your lower back will be involved. So just take a few moments, keeping that heart as your focus forward and up. Remember, you can exhale back down if you need to at any point. Otherwise, think about shoulder blades towards your waist, chest forward and up, heart toward the ceiling, and chin tucking in a little bit. Don't crunch the neck too much. Not a lot of pressure in your hands and arms. They're just helping position you. So you want the spine to be doing the work this morning. Take a breath one more time, maybe a little higher. And then slowly exhale down and let your forehead touch. And again, bring your hands under your shoulders and push back into a good forward bend stretch. And then bringing your arms back to the front at the sides of the mat. One more time, we're gonna pivot up, roll all the way down, and again. Exhale, head to the opposite side. 
And then one more time, sink those hips down, relax the lower body, and another version of cobra. So forehead to the floor, hands under your shoulders. We're going to keep the elbows in, palms planted, face to the front, crown to the ceiling, chin tucked back in, chest forward and up. And again, coming only as far as you want to go with the bent elbow cobra. So the hands really aren't supporting you. They're just positioning. Keep those shoulders releasing and relaxing. Shoulder blades towards your waist, heart forward and up, crown toward the ceiling. Maximize only as much as your body feels right in this version of bent armed cobra. Take a moment and breathe. And on an exhalation, breathe your hands up toward the floor. And again, just relax through the lower body. Take a moment to position. And bring your hands in about the same place, right near your shoulders, or a little bit further toward your face. So palms planted. And again, forehead start on the floor, and then rotating your face to the front, crown toward the ceiling. Tuck that chin back in, shoulder blades toward your waist. Now, you can either keep the bent arm version, or you can come up into a more extended cobra. It'll get into your lower back, so don't go there if you don't want to. You can straighten your elbows as much as you want, and you can keep the shoulder blades toward your waist and the chest forward and the crown to the ceiling, just like always. So breathing, keep the shoulders down away from your ear. Shoulder blades toward your waist. Take another breath, chest forward and up, lengthen as much as it feels good. And then slowly again, exhaling all the way back down. So take a moment there. Just relaxing. If you need to push up and back into a child's pose stretch, feel free to do that. Otherwise, we're going to get ready for it one more time, going up into that full cobra. So again, just relax your hips down. Relax your legs. Hands where you need them, under your shoulders for a little bit further forward if you don't want to go quite as high. And again, sink into your hips and legs, relax them, face to the front, crown to the ceiling, chin tucking back in, press gently into the hands as you come up. Most of the work should still be in your spine, shoulders and shoulder blades back and down, and elbows as straight or bent as you need them to be. And again, as you come into your cobra, just relax in the position, hips sinking, and crown reaching up and maybe a little bit back. Now, if you're comfortable here and you want to stay here, you can do that. You can go back down anytime you need to or want to. Or we're going to do a twist. So keeping your hands planted, lift the crown, stretch the sitting bones and spine all apart, and then exhaling, turn and look over one shoulder toward your feet. Take a moment there and breathe, keep lengthening. Maximize the twist. So you're turning your hip, rib, and shoulder just like any other twist, not just your neck. Take a breath, relax. And then again, lengthen up and exhale back to the center. And exhale again, coming back down. So you know that we only did half the twist because we've got to twist to the other side to get things balanced. So we're going to do one more version. So again, you can keep your elbows bent on the floor. You can go into a regular cobra, or you can do the twist to the other direction. So once more, relax into your hips and legs. Inhale, face forward, crown to the ceiling. Chin back in, shoulders and shoulder blades toward your waist. Stay here, pull back into sphinx, or press. Hands are just supporting a little bit, not a whole lot. And the spine is lengthening so we can move into the twist. Stretch from your sitting bones back and your crown up and exhale, turning to look the other direction. 
And again, hips, ribs, and shoulder turn slightly coming into that twist, not just your neck. Breathe again, relax, maximize or minimize. Remember, personal practice, do what's right for your body, and breathe. When you're ready to release the twist, exhale back to the center, stretch your spine one more time, and exhale back to the mat. Four hips to the floor. Take a moment, feeling that, and hands under your shoulders, and again, pressing back into child's pose. Nice, good forward bend. If you need a little bit more stretch through that lower back, bring your knees together while you're in child's pose, and that will give you a little bit more lower back stretch. And then we're going to do another version. So bring your hands to the sides again of the mat and push up and back all the way down into resting crocodile. Again, just take a few moments to integrate. Head to one side and then turning to the other side on an exhalation. Hips down, legs relaxed, whole body releasing. And we're going to start where we ended with the cobra. So forehead to the mat, hands under your shoulders or a little bit ahead. And we're going to inhale and Exhale, letting that whole lower body sink. And then on the next inhalation, face forward, crown to the ceiling. Chin back in, chest forward, shoulder blades down. Stay here, bent arm version, or go all the way up into your cobra. Either way, just kind of warming things up one more time. So ribs forward and up, chest forward and up, and crown to the ceiling. Make sure that you go only as far as your body is comfortable. You can straighten your elbows if that works, but don't hunch your shoulders. Keep them down toward your waist. Take a moment to breathe, chest forward and up. When you're ready to exhale, come back down. And again, forehead to the mat. Take a moment, relaxing, releasing whatever was stretched and whatever was contracted. And we're going to do one more version. This time we're going to go into up dog only if you want to. So same position, hands under your shoulders, elbows in, shoulder blades toward your waist, hips and legs sinking into the mat. The legs still do nothing as we begin coming into the cobra. So face forward, crown to the ceiling, chin back in, chest forward and up and shoulder blades down. So at this point, you're gonna press into your hands and fully extend your let elbows up, bringing your hips maybe up off the floor also this time. And then if you wanna go into the full up dog, you're gonna keep the tops of your feet on the floor, straighten your knees and chest forward and up. So from your ankles through your knees to your hips is pretty much straight not sagging, and then your chest and ribs are going forward and up. So coming as much into your up dog as you think is appropriate for your body, or stay in cobra, or bent arm cobra, or sphinx, any of those is fine. So again, chest forward and up, crown with the ceiling, keep breathing. When you're ready to release, the whole thing just lowers back down until your forehead and again, just take a moment there, breathing, relaxing, releasing that lower body, and the spine. And then one more time, we'll push up and back into child's pose. And again, as much as you want to, knees together for that lower back or knees apart if you want to breathe a little bit more. Thank you. 
And then bringing your arms in front, hands to the sides of the mat. Pivot it up. We're going to roll all the way onto the belly one more time. And again. And again, exhaling, turn your head to the opposite side. And you can keep your hands near your hips so you can experience. We're going to roll all the way over onto our backs. So coming back into your corpse position, reclined integration for a moment. Let that lower back sacrum area sink. Relax through your shoulders down toward the mat, shoulder blades toward your waist, ribs down toward the mat as well. So just take a moment there, releasing and relaxing, getting ready for our twist for today. So bring your arms out to T position, straight out from your shoulders. Relax your sacrum lower back down into the mat. Now we're going to take the right leg, bending it, knee up toward the ceiling, foot right on top of the thigh. And then take your hands together in front of you and roll all the way over to your left side with the knee down to the floor and your whole body on its side. Take your left hand to your right knee, hold the knee on the floor, and bring your right arm up right above your body towards the ceiling with the palm open. And then keep the palm open toward the ceiling right at shoulder level, so it's not coming down toward your waist or up above your head, but straight out from your shoulder as you lower that arm behind you. It may not make it to the floor with your knee on the floor, that's okay. So just let gravity do the work if that arm is up in the air. That's your middle back being tight. The knee stays on the floor for your lower back in the twist. And the more you turn your head to look toward that arm that you're lowering, the more your neck and shoulder are in the twist. So only going as far as your body would like and relaxing. So deep breaths, letting the tension out. Allowing the twist, never forcing it. The more you emphasize the exhalation, the more you'll feel a release through the ligaments, through the spine. Let it happen, but don't force it. If you feel those popping sensations, this one's called the chiropractic twist sometimes because it's like one the chiropractors do to adjust your hips and spine. Let it happen. If it pops, let it. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. Either way is fine. Take a moment to breathe. Just relaxing completely. And this is a good one to hold on your own longer, but we need to roll over onto our back and release it so we can twist the opposite direction. So take a moment there, feeling your spine, noticing all that twist energy circulation through you and allowing your body to just completely relax. And when you're ready, we're going to twist, of course, to the other side to balance the body and the energy. So go ahead, arms T position, palms up, press your lower back down and bend your left leg, knee up and foot on the side. Rolling all the way over to the right side, onto your hip and side, as that knee comes down toward the floor, hands together in front of you. And again, the right hand holds the left knee, and the left arm goes right above your shoulder to the ceiling. My head easily is on the floor. If yours isn't, you can put padding under that so you're not straining your neck. And again, looking up at that hand in the air, keeping the knee down with your opposite hand, lower into your twist, turning to look toward that arm behind you. And again, coming into the twist as far as your body would like, letting the hand come to the floor if it wants to or not. Let gravity do the work for you, don't force it. And if the hand is all the way down, you can let gravity bring your shoulder further toward the floor if that happens in your body. 
So knee down for the lower back and the twist. Be gentle there if you need to. Hand to the floor for your middle back, coming with gravity only as far as it wants to go. And turning your head, looking back for your neck and shoulder and the twist. Again, if you've got neck issues, minimize that. Once more, keep breathing. Exhale and just completely relax, releasing all those ligaments and spaces in your spine. Deepen into your twist as much or as little as your body wants to go. And when you're ready to release, you just let go of the knee, roll onto your back, and again, readjust and reposition back into your position. And it's time for our relaxation. So let that meditative energy activate. That spinal twist energy tends to spiral up into your head. So just notice if that's activating your middle of your skull for a deeper meditation. Deep breaths in, exhaling any tightness. Just letting your body go. The legs and hips just heavy like they've been all morning sinking into the earth. Arms and shoulders relaxed and heavy as well. Let the whole midsection torso and spine relax. We did a lot of work there this morning. Let everything just release. Closing your eyes, focusing inward, following your breath. And just allow your body to grow soft and heavy, sinking into the earth embrace, relaxing deep into Mother Earth, feeling supported and released. And as you let your body go, just allow your mind to drift. No need to pay attention to any part of your body. Just relax and release. And let the thoughts flow in and out. It's the job of your mind to keep producing thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. Let the thoughts come in and out as easily as your breath without awareness. And as your mind gently drifts, just let your awareness release both your body and your mind. Sink deep into that inner peace within. And let the peace fill your body, fill your mind, fill your being. Being peace. And then staying relaxed if you'd like for as long as you'd like. Or if you need to reactivate, draw energy and awareness back to the moment, to your body. Begin moving gently, stretching as you become ready. Allowing your body to lengthen and deepen into that stretch. Press your back down when you're ready for your final E or hug of appreciation. And draw your knees toward your heart, letting your body know how much you appreciate this yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to prepare for the rest of your day, roll over to the side, sit back up, and just prepare for whatever's ahead. Thanks for joining me.